Hey folks, how are you? Heather and I, we're gonna see if we can get set up to strap the back wall here very shortly. If we get everything set up today, we may try some strapping today, but I don't think we're gonna get set up in time. It's fairly late here. So we're gonna see what we can do about setting these scaffold up there that uh, our uh, good buddy Bert Skelton sent us. So if we get this set up in place, we're only gonna use the, the first six foot sections stretch it out and we'll just keep moving them so we can do the bottom strap and then as we get higher we'll we'll lift her up so uh see how this goes folks okay. now this instruction should be fairly fairly easy to do i'll let you take a look at that okay has the wheels and the pins in it. Now we're going to use the wheels just in case, okay? Okay. So there should be two wheels and two pins in here. Okay, this is pretty self-explanatory, I think. Here. Yeah, you uh just hand it out if you don't mind. turn the other way. Yeah, it's supposed to go inside, I think. What should see there? Well, it should, but... I kind of think it goes like this here. Pretty sure that's how you do it. Yeah. It goes outside like that, I think. We're gonna set it up like this, okay? Okay. There. You lay her down now. Set her down. That's right. This here. Yeah, I think that's how. We, I think that's how it goes. Pretty sure. Maybe it really makes a difference. We're gonna pull this back here. Go pull the other one right here. See this? You pull that back. Where do you want this one? Right there, yeah. She's gonna go in. Wait, you gotta pull her in further. There you go. Let go. Like that. And then this board here. Going to this year get the turn sideways here like this. Turn them, turn them out. Yep, you got her. This here should fit just like I'll grab here now. Boom, these here get turned like that. You'll pull up and turn, yeah. Yeah. Now we're gonna put the wheels. Put her into it. Just pull over here, if you don't mind. Grab one of these pins, just like the snowman. The way we do them. You can open this up. Do it like 
Turn it inside. Put the put like the clips this? inside. No, no, no. Okay. Yes, you got it. Now we'll do the other side. Which one? Right here. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, it was so shiny. I, I thought it was a black hole. Yeah. Okay. Can you put the pin here? This pin here, it goes in here. Okay. Once we're done, but we're not going to oh. use that right away because we're going to lift this up higher. So we're going to do this other wheel right here. Here's a pin for you. slide these all the way up so go to the other side pull these pins in grab them both at the same time pull them in and we are going to lift that up slide it all the way up all the way up okay i'm going to come over and help you here that's okay yeah okay, you just grab your one in there Squeeze it in. Okay, I got it. You got to pull that in all the way. Dude. It's not in all the way. That. Go to the other side. Oh, uh, I'm not in a hole. Let it down a little bit. It'll go in a hole. Go to this side again. Okay. You want me to go up higher again? Can you do it? No, you come and hold this, okay? I don't no, know just why come and hold it. I do want You got her. There. we are we're even on one hole now these pins here okay can you grab the two pins out of that box please you got it just like that that's right no no they go inside i thought you were well, I don't know if it matters, but let's just... Oh, okay. I thought that's... No, you're, you know, you're probably right. Well, hang them outside. That way we won't step on them when we get up and down, okay? So just keep yours the way you're doing it. That's good. Sure. I, I, I just thought I was doing it the same way as yours, but I guess... No, it was backwards, but yours is probably better. Because you don't want to kick your feet on it all the time. There we go. Good? Yeah. Now we're going to slide it over there and we're going to adjust it to make it fit right. Grab me in here, they should be pretty light. They're not bad, right? Walk it over. Okay, take it up your way a bit. Good. Good, so now what we're gonna do, go hold that down a little bit. There, 
take this pin out here. Take this pin out here. So I'm here and we're gonna see if this works or how it works. half the wall and then we'll just move them up higher. Right. Now this here. Oh, that's good, folks. <coughs> that's perfect. That works great. So now we're going to get the other one set up and uh, we're gonna put it probably somewhere, maybe in front of the patio door. We'll get that down. We'll get, we'll get the other one over the basement and we'll start hooking it up. And up getting those two set up. We just have to put the top plank on that uh, scaffold set there, but it's in the basement right now. So we're gonna go get that very shortly. So uh, yeah, now, uh, we're gonna work as high as we can. That'll go up halfway, and then we're gonna take this set and put it on top. But for now, we're gonna work our way all the way across there, and then uh, once you get all, see, we can work. I think we can do halfway of this wall easy with these, just like these. We'll just keep moving them down, and that's gonna get us a long ways. And we're gonna take this, and we're gonna set it on top there. We're gonna finish that strapping. We're gonna work our way across. And then we're just gonna work off the two high, do because those they're fairly wide. They gotta be over six feet wide, I think. I'm not sure now, but if they're over six feet wide, then uh, we can do 12 over 12 boards at a time. Then we'll just move these down. We don't have to move these very many times, and uh, we're going to be done this wall. So it's gonna be great. Love it. Got the planks up top. I move them a little closer so I can step from there all the way over and I can reach up just over four feet high on the wall so that's gonna go good so we're gonna go uh, we'll be able to put the ends up each of the ends going straight up vertical and then I can put two runs straight across so that'll be uh, three six seven boards seven eight nine boards and then just lift the scaffold up and I do another two runs at the top and we're all done the strap and then we start doing our uh, siding on that. So that's gonna go real quick, I think. And I'm just gonna start Heather's little Elan here tomorrow and I'll move it out of the way. We already have all of our strapping sitting right here. This is a strapping we milled when Heather tried taking out my sexy gams there with that board. <laughs> but uh, clearly she missed, but I'm not gonna tell her that because I got a nice piece of nice, nice uh, pie out of that. So I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Then she made me a nice uh, banana cream today too, so I had a small sliver of that, but not too, too much. So anyways, we got the saw back here, we got the roller, uh, we got everything, we're all, we're all set to go. We have the compressor in the basement, we have the hose in the basement. So tomorrow, folks, if you come back, we're going to start on this strap and you'll see what we've got done by tomorrow. And you'll see how smooth this goes. Pretty sure it's going to be smooth. I'll show you what it looks like around here now. Uh, since we did this corner here, you'll see that's what this side of the house looks like here now fortunately this side the house sticks out a little further this way but not too much so we have so we can put some we can put some uh uh like we wanted to put some kind of board on the outside of this uh concrete wall that's exposed back here we're not sure what we're going to put on it yet but we're also going to put more dirt up against the side of the house and maybe some styrofoam and uh, like I say, we're gonna fix up that roof. We're gonna close that all in nicely, the gable ends and the eaves. That's gonna look really good, I think. We didn't want a window on the back here because this is a north wall. There's really no way. We already have that big patio door in the bedroom. We didn't want another window because you always feel cool off a window. 
We didn't want a window in the bathroom because that is where our shower stall is and we didn't want to have that leaking. And then we have at the far end there, you can see, uh, well you can't see, but the pantry is on the far end and the stairs go into the basement. I didn't want a window there. Someday maybe we will, but not for now, I don't think. So anyways, that is how that is going, folks. And uh, we got everything all set up here. Just gotta start Heather's Elan up there and get it out of the way and then we're going to be we're gonna be right at this tomorrow so a short little video folks just to show you how we got this going so thanks again to uh, our buddy Bert Skelton for sending us that scaffold we really appreciate that you cannot imagine how much faster that's gonna make things go and how much safer it'll go and I love it too because you can adjust either sides so the other one I find the easiest way to put those together is turn them upside down it's the easiest way turn them upside down put them all together and then flip them up the normal way and then put your top board on and you got her set. Very easy. We cut a little bit of firewood tonight. We just, uh, this is all we're gonna start doing now because we have that huge load of slabs. We got the huge pile of slabs over there. So we're gonna start uh, cutting those slabs up now. We're gonna start burning those a little bit because we have a lot of them and so load like this. It's supposed to be only minus 20 degrees Celsius tonight, so we're gonna go through. Uh, uh, this will last tonight, tomorrow, and probably the following night, the small sleigh load of slabs, uh, because this place is really warm now. It's really getting warm, and look under there now. See, we have enough room underneath there. There's that board I just put on there just to, just to set, so I know how far to slide this siding down. And as we, we have enough room there that we can put some kind of, uh, you know, I mean, it doesn't matter because the deck's gonna go on there anyway, so it don't matter if the bottom sticks out a little bit more, it makes no difference. Because there's gonna be a roof, I can say, off this, all the way around the house, it's gonna come out 10 feet. And down here, there's gonna be a concrete slab out 10 feet, the width to the house, 28 feet wide. So, uh, it's gonna look good. And that there, I don't know, we get we get some frost there, that's that's frost. And there's something, some kind of powder coming out in the concrete because of the cold, I think. Yeah, see, that's powder. I don't know why, maybe you folks have seen it before, but every time she gets really cold, that happens and inside that spot gets damp. Maybe you've seen it, so if you have, let me know folks what's going on there. But uh, anyways, loving it, loving it. I, you know, we love that basement. I mean, we don't live down there. It's a spot to store our firewood, our two freezers, uh, the wood stove, the water pump, uh, stuff like that, so. Uh, we will. We really. I'm glad we did that basement. It was a lot of work because Heather and I we poured that basement with a five-gallon pail, and uh, she carried every rock and dropped in that form pretty much. I had help from a from a friend there, but uh, yeah, uh, my cousin he helped. But I mean, really, that was a yeah, that was quite the chore. So we're we're glad that. And as you you folks take care, and we'll talk to you another time. Hey, uh, please let me know what you think in the comments here. You take care all. Bye-bye.